Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we all know why you're here. Are you here for Flyball? OK, so I'll give you a quick run through of the teams before we actually kick off. I'm going to hand to John in a minute as well. So today we've got running Watson's Legacy. Anybody here supporting Watson's Legacy? Sal Tyres. Focus. Aces high. Tails you lose. And all the way back from Belgium, the Roadrunners beep beep. And the Molten Magnets. And Tails we win. How about that one, John? I'll land you over there. We will introduce our judge for the afternoon. We will indeed. The lady who's going to be keeping order and making sure everything is as it should be. Please welcome all the way from Canada, your fly ball judge, Monica Johnny. So we are in for a fantastic competition. Uh, we have got record holders amongst our teams, haven't we? We've got Focus, who are the outdoor UK record holders. We've got the Belgians, of course, who hold the European record. And we've got the Tails We Win team, who currently have the UK record. So, do you think we're going to get a new record set this afternoon here in the fly ball? I'll be shocked if we don't. Let's, I mean, let's be honest, honest about it. If we don't beat a record today, at least one, if not more, I'll be shocked, John, I've got to be honest. It was so exciting last year, and of course, the louder our audience cheer, the faster these dogs will run. That is official, isn't it? Radley, thank you very much indeed. Good afternoon, everybody. You want a little bit of high octane entertainment. Do not move. Flyball packs them in here at the arena at the NEC, and it's hugely popular for you guys at home as well. We're going to see four lightning quick races in the company of Graham Partridge. And last uh, year, Graham, this competition provided the best fly ball we had both ever seen you in particular the Crufts record went well, ten we times time. would you believe and we just wonder well, what to expect so over the next four days this is the group of 16 that's today and tomorrow the quarterfinals on Saturday the semis and the final on Sunday and the two teams are out is Watson's legacy on the near side from Stoke-on-Trent and Saltars from Scotland from Livingston on the far side great well, Jim, if it's as exciting as it was last year, they're going to have to get someone younger in to do it next year. Don't because, be silly, don't because, be silly. Uh, as you say, I, I, should, I should avoid too much excitement. What we're actually going to see now, that uh, the first run of every team uh, during this competition, they will get a practice run. So, and the reason they get a practice run is because they will never, probably, unless they've raced here at Cross before, will never have seen such a magnificent stadium, a magnificent setting uh, for their dogs. And what they're doing is they're just acclimatizing it. They're, you see that they're lifting their dogs up and actually showing them, and now they're running the dog down towards the boxes. They're just, again, and it's about warming the dogs up. It's like any athlete, they need to make sure that the dogs are properly warm warmed up if they want to get the maximum speed out of all these dogs and you can hear the box loaders making a load of noise there trying to attract the dog's attention and uh, there we are Jim I mean we are in for some fantastic racing. Saltires on the far side that is the red side uh, from Livingston in Scotland Ray, Fusion, Sky and Storm the first four dogs and Watson's legacy on the near side. Go with Epic, go with Comet, go with Colin, and go the last dog will be Optic. Ready? This will be a practice run that we're looking at now. Of, the, of the, the two teams, it's the best of three when things are actually start. And getting some practice runs, and the, it, as, it, as uh, Claire has said, these are the Olympian dogs, really, the fastest dogs from both British leagues. And they'll be using this run to uh, assess the speed, to see whether the dogs are performing as they want them to, because uh, the changeovers are key in this, and I'll talk about the changeovers later on during the race. But uh, they just want to make sure that everything's good, they've got their measurements marked out, 
Uh, no, as I say, looking forward to it, Jim. So, Soul Tires from Livingston in Scotland, past winners, very consistent. If there is a favourite, it is Soul Tires on the far side in the red lanes against Watson's Legacy from Stoke-on-Trent. Third time here, newbies, really. A nice collection of fast dogs, all related, keen to have fun, no great expectations, really. Are we ready? So Watson's legacy then on the near the blue, Soul Tires on the far. Looking at Mon Monica Johnny, Canadian judge, first North American to be invited to judge here at this very prestigious fly ball competition. The fly ball competition that gave us so much excitement last year, the best we have ever seen. What will 2023 produce? We're about to find out. Good start on the near side from Watson's Legacy. They have it at the moment. It's with Watson's Legacy. Saltires struggling a bit on that far side. Watson's Legacy have it on the near side. And that's a fine piece of work, really. We look to see where the judge is going to point. Just have a little look and we will confirm the result for you. Confirm the result. And this side. Let's have a little look which way she's is that coming. Clean this side? Yep. She is coming. Do they have a fault? We're looking for a they definite single from the judge. Win in the and red it goes, lane. It Win goes the to the far lane. side. Goes to the far side. So it yes. is Soul Tires who are one to the good. So we had a number of faults. They had early. So we had a number of faults here. Very difficult to keep an eye on what's going on. If a dog has a fault anywhere on the course, it must be rerun until it produces a clean run. Soul Tires won to the good then on that far side. If they win this, they will go through to Saturday's quarterfinals. The Soul Tires from Scotland, as expected. Watson's legacy on the near, they have to strike that. So it is with Soul Tires have the advantage at the moment. Bit of a confusing error strewn race, the opening race of Plus 2023. We're all set and we are running. And on the far side, it is just with the Soul Tires, but very, very close indeed. It's really close still, just with the Soul Tires on the far side. But there's a fault on that far side and a fault on the near side as well. So both will have to run extra dogs. This is a really getting... And there we go, the extra dogs. And another fault on that far side. This means it could well square up. It could well be one apiece and we'll need a decider. Let us have a very close look at Monica, our judge. If she points Where to this near side, she does indeed. We have a decider then. One apiece between Saltires on the far side and Watson's legacy in the blue on the near. A little bit of rustiness there, perhaps, Graham. I think it is. I think uh, pre-match nerves have, uh, have got to them. But uh, I think on the balance of things, one all is probably a fair result at this side. So, one to go through to Saturday's quarterfinals. Will it be the fast winners? Soul tires on the far side. That is the that is the red lane, or will it be Watson's legacy? Creating a bit of a shock on the near side. One apiece. This is the deciding race then. Fast Opening race ready. of Crufts 2023. Shouting the name of the dogs, the handler. Best of order. And we are off and running. Nothing in it at the moment. Probably just with the near side, I would imagine, but only just. Just with Watson's legacy on the near. Just. But they're gaining on that far side now at the Soul Tires. A fine. A, but there's a fault on that far side as well. So if the near side keeps it clean, Watson's legacy, they could create an upset here. They could well create an upset, Watson's legacy. They are celebrating and it's gone to the near side as well. So it is Watson's legacy. Nice job. Who have gone through and have created a bit of an upset. They came here to have fun with no expectations. They're in the quarterfinals, Graham. They did, and there you saw the fault. The dog took the ball and it dropped the it dropped the ball, but it must take the ball back over to the finish line with it.
the moment the dogs are much louder than this audience. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. The louder you cheer, the faster the dogs will go. Please welcome holders of the Outdoor UK record, Focus! Focus on the far sides. In the yellow and pink, they're going to be going up against the brilliant Aces High. So, focus currently the holders of the UK outdoor record, 14.7 seconds. And we're going to try to get all that today. So, the team is going to show the box. Know exactly which course they're running on. We're all set then. It is aces high on the far side in the red. Broke the record when they won here in 2019. And that record, I'll tell you, was 15 seconds 20. It's now 14.71. And included in that aces high quartet, uh, Riot goes first, Heist second, Icon third, and Hustle goes fourth. My personal favourite, I make no, no qualms about that, 20 months old was Hustle the first time the dog uh, competed, now coming up to nine years of age. One of the fastest teams around Aces High. This is going to be close, though. Focus on the near side. From Selby, winners of Crofts 2020 and runners-up last year. So here we go with uh, these two teams practice runs. What I'm going to try and do is just to talk about the intricacies uh, of the box loader and just tell you what he can or cannot do. So there she is. She has to make sure that she knows which dog is coming next and then she will put the ball in the correct hole. She cannot touch the box apart from putting the ball in. All she can do is to use verbal commands to try and get the dog to come towards her just as quickly as that. So this is Leanne Burrows that we're seeing here. They do play a very important uh, role in this, and I will explain more about the uh, two holes that you see on the box there uh, at the end of the race. Thank you, Graham. Very illuminating as always. This one could be really, really close. Best of three, as ever. Winners go into the quarterfinals on Saturday. Another round of 16 tomorrow. The losers pack their bags and head for home. Focus from Selby then, Aces High uh, from Lincolnshire. Focus on the near side, at the blue side, Aces High on the farther red. They've been coming here for the last six years of Aces High. And watch for my little hustle running the last leg for Aces High. Coming up to nine years of age. Focus on the near. Aces High, red on the far side. Monica calling best of order. And they're away. It's focus on the near side. Uh, that have it at the moment just but making up good ground aces high on the far very little in it at the moment it's still really really close and there's the scene set for hustle is it set for the hustler on that far side is it is it i think it might just have gone to the near you know i think it might have indeed it has indeed it has focus we're told you it'd be close, and they have just taken it and gone one to the good. What a race, Graham. As you say, down in Cornwall, proper race that was, absolutely proper. Very, very close, there's nothing in it, so they'll be looking now to try and just tidy up their changeovers to see if they can square it up again. Focus from Selby, one up, another win, it's the quarterfinals, aces high, record breakers back in 2019, a top team, one of the fastest around, staring elimination in the eye here, aces high on the far side, focus are on the near, I told it was going to be close, it was a really close opening leg, what's going to happen here? Will it be decisive? Will we get a decider? We're about to find out in the next 15 seconds or so. And they're off and running. Nothing in it on the opening leg. Hardly anything at all. Possibly just on that far side. Just with the far side uh, with aces high. Still nothing in it. There's a fault on that far side. This could well then go. Go focus his way. We're looking for a fault. And it has indeed, and would you believe it? It's gone to focus.
focus. It has gone to focus. Two races to nil to focus from Selby. That has to be down as a, as, as a, as a bit of a shock. And there we go. Unfortunately, aces are just trying that little bit too hard. What a race that was, very close, unworking aces, valiant effort there, but a brilliant run from focus, who go through. Alright, let's bring out our next two teams as the battle continues for our fly ball championship. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for Tails You Lose! Ladies and gentlemen, here they come, featuring an 11-year-old handler who is very, very talented indeed. In the bright pink. And they're going to be going up against, all the way from Belgium, Road Runners BB. I think they brought half of Belgium with them in the audience. Fantastic support for this amazing team, who are the European record holders. Our friends from Belgium doing very well to get here today. In all their conditions. So it's a team of men on the far side of the middle. Sounds you lose. Up against the Belgians here in the green. Real players for the week. Real players that come to the middle. 13 points to the last two years. Our fans is on the way. Tails, you lose then effectively Tails' second team, but they actually beat the first team in qualifying. Road runners, well, they've had a horrible experience on the road coming here to Crufts. Road runners beat beat, who came here as the first uh, overseas team last year and won everything, smashed the record just about every day. The record went 10 times. We just wait and see how that horrible accident with a couple of cars written off, underlining all the dogs have been checked out and all okay. How will it affect them? Road runs beep beep on that far side in the red and on the near side, tails, you lose. We've had the practice run, we're all set. This is the real thing then. And that's a sleek start on the far side by Roadrunners, by Set the first dog. It's with Roadrunners at the moment, with Drogon on that far side. Satsa holding the lead for the Roadrunners. This looks good for the Roadrunners on that far side. As Kion comes through to take it. They are the champions. They are the Crofts record holders. They are the serial winners. Accident or no accident, they're looking very, very sleek. Very nice run there by the Roadrunners. They did exactly what they needed to do and no more. Uh, the changeovers weren't that tight. They knew that they had a little bit of uh, leeway in what they were doing, uh, and they did it perfectly, as you would expect from uh, a team of their calibre, Jim. So Tails, you lose on the near side. Have to produce something absolutely extraordinary here. Frenchy, Lupa, Wiggy and Blink. At the moment, the Roadrunners looking as though that horrible experience has taken nothing out of them. Just about a perfection in that opening. Let's see what happens here. It's a 
good start on the near side, but it's still with the road runners on the far. Will the road runners by a decent distance on the far side? Keep it clean and keep it quick. It'll be on the road runners' way. The road runners stretching away with that fourth dog on the far side. That is Kion. That's the road runners. Through they go to the Saturday quarter final. Well done all after that vile experience coming here to the NEC. That's a terrific effort from them. Was what a great run there by Roadrunners. As I say, they uh, they timed it perfectly. I feel a little bit for Tails. You lose that uh, they've come up against the reigning Crufts champion in really a great form. So, uh, but well yeah. done to them. Brilliant performance there from the team in pink. Tails, you lose. We loved it. All right, are we ready? Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome out the Molten Magnets! <laughs> They've got their fan club up at the top there, making some noise, that's what we like. Here comes their opponents, Tails We Win! So, Moulton's beat the Tails last year, I seem to remember. So, are they going to be looking to get their own back this time? I wonder, and maybe even Siemens. Tails with win currently, the holders of the UK record, for 14.46 seconds. Can we get more ready at that time today? Let's find out. Razzi, they are all they are all set to go then. Tails we win on the far side, far quicker on paper. This effectively Tails first team. There's previous here though with Molten Magnets who knocked them out last year, shot them really on the Saturday and denied them a place in Sunday's uh, finale. Tails we win, far side then. And uh, Molten Magnets on the near. Will we see another shot from the Magnets? Tells we win current UK record holders, 14.46. Runners up in the Worlds last year. All the pedigree with Tails we win on that far side, the red side. This is the last of the fly ball action today. There'll be more tomorrow and Saturday, of course, and the grand climax with the semi-final and final on Sunday. We're off and running. Tails we win on that far side just at the moment, but precious is in it. Now on the near, Molten Magnets have made up a little bit of ground. It's still very, very close. I think there's a fault on that far side. It's still close, the far side has it at the moment with the uh, Tails.
as we win. But is there a fault on that far side? Are they going to have to run another dog? No, there isn't. It's clear on that far side, and it, they are pointing the far side's way. So as, anti as anticipated, really, it is one for Tails We Tails Win. 16-2-4. 16-2-4, the time from Tails. We heard that from uh, Monica, our judge. For Tails We Win on that far side. That was a beautiful close race. Beautiful. Tails We Win, though, if they do that again. It'll be a comfortable qualification uh, for Arlo, for Panther, for Kenneke and for Cody. The quartet from Tails We Win on the far side. The near though, Molten Magnets, come on, they must think, let's have a bit of last year's spirit or we knock them out of the quarterfinal. It's not the quickest start by the Molten on the near side, but just about in front of the moment. It's still with the Magnets on the near side, but only just, still just with the Magnets, but on the far side, they are making up ground, our tails we win. They're making up ground on the far side. A fault on both sides, I'm hearing here. Fault on the far and fault on the near side. So, we are looking, we're, we're, we are waiting, and it is at one apiece, and we're going to have a runoff. A couple of faults on both sides. And uh, Monica pointed this way, pointed towards us in the commentary position, and so we have one apiece, and it's all going to go to a third race track. Does. Uh there just seems to be a little bit of a query there from the team captain from Tails We Win. So we're just waiting for a decision on that. Steve! Steve! Let's just have a listen. I think we can probably have a listen to this. Okay, it's got to be a rerun then, I'm afraid. That's the only choice you can, you can do with it. Yeah. Okay. If they put the wrong bit on, it's got to be a rerun. Don't explain to that. Yep. Yep. We're going to do a rerun. Rerun. We're going to rerun. The, the fault light was wrong. Okay. Guys, right, sorry. well, you heard it here. Uh, the technology that can be a bit complicated. There was a wrong fault declared. That's why, uh, I must admit, I hadn't spotted it. That's why Tails Me Win queried it. So we have a rerun of that one. As you can see, Steve is uh, not only talks to us, he's the oracle of all things. Uh, um, all things fly ball here. A rerun, and that means uh, Tails Me Win holding a one race lead. And uh, there is quite a lot of uh, technology out there. It doesn't, doesn't surprise me. It's always a very exact sport and down to a hundredth of a second as well. So a rerun, just to bring you up to date. Then on the far side, tail three win far quicker on paper are one to the good. If they win here, they go through. Molten Magnets, who have a bit of history of shocking tails we win, will look to do it again after that little technical malfunction. Well sorted out, though, by Monica. Well sorted out by everybody. No complaints on either side. We are off then on the far. Tails we're in on the near. It is the Magnets, and it's just with the Magnets at the moment, but very, very close. Tails we win probably just ahead after that first leg. Still just with Tails we win on that far side. It, it's very, very quick on the far side. There's a fault on the near side too. This is going to be Tails we win as we anticipated. Tails we win, the winners. 2-0, that's good enough for them, that's good enough for the quarterfinals, and good enough to say we will keep a close eye on Tails We Win for the rest of the competition. And it was a really, really good race there, as I say, that just made the difference there for Tails We Win. Just had a couple of dogs which uh, made up the extra yardage that was required. So Tails We Win go through. Tails we win, go through. We have the four Thursday qualifiers for the quarterfinals on, on Saturday. They are Tails we win. Road runners beat beat. Well done to the champions after their horrible experience on the road this morning. Focus and Watson's legacy. All right, here we go. Final four, please welcome back Watson's legacy. So what's his legacy in the pinky green? They're going to be going up against Focus. Yeah.
So all of the first round is now complete. Perfect. So this is the runoff for the day. Okay. So it's Watson's versus Focus. So what do we have? We've got Watson and Focus. So now the competition continues to find the Thursday champion and we have Watson's legacy on the near side, the blue side, no practice run and focus on the far side, that is the red. This to decide Thursday's champions from that four and they all know they can relax a little bit, they all know they're going through uh, to the quarterfinals of Trucks 2023 this Saturday. Focus the winners a couple of years ago, runners up uh, last year. Great to ever present captain in Craig Burroughs and focus on the far side, just trailing at the moment, it's just with Watson's legacy on the near, still with Watson's legacy uh, on the near side. And if they keep this tidy, it's going to be one to Watson's legacy on the near, I would imagine. A pretty clear cut, decisive victory for Watson's legacy. Concerned by Monica Johnny, 15.40 the time. Thank you, Monica, for that. So on the near side Watson's legacy are one two we three. are one nothing and for a good good clean race there uh, just too good for uh, focus there just beating them by uh, probably about a jump so they'll be looking to tighten up their, their changeovers here look at that Where's my man? so this could be the decisive Fox is uh, ready. Fox race. Line uh, judges, thank you. Focus have anything to do with it. It's Watson's legacy, ready? one to the good from Stoke ready? on Trent. This will be a ready? very pleasing for Watson's legacy from Stoke. Yeah. If they manage to get one over focus this afternoon, all good bragging points here. It's, it's a good start from Watson's legacy. Just be focused on the far side of the moment in my eyes. Still just, be, oh, there's a fumble. There's a fumble from focus on that box. And uh, that could compromise the far side, and that could well mean it's going to be uh, Watson's legacy all the way here. The it is indeed Watson's legacy in the blue, and that is two to the good for Watson's legacy. And Watson's legacy, as they run that final dog on the far side, do focus after that fumble. Go on, Graham. Yeah, we saw the fumble there. The dog actually took the ball out, dropped it, picked it up again, and completed his run. Just, just time lost there, Jim. Congratulations to, uh, to Watson's legacy then. Two to the good. Fine work by, by all of them, really. OK, so Watson's legacy progressed. Christina Opperman. Um, but who Matthew will Lees, be going up against? That is the Liz Meredith, Stephanie Lee, and Rachel Colbert. Good work. We are playing for these fabulous trophies and presents for the first and second team. Let's bring out, ladies and gentlemen, our next competitors. Let's hear it for Road Runners Big Up against Tails We Win. So the Road Runners very swiftly back in action, and they will be so pleased that they have uh, qualified for the quarterfinals on, on Saturday. And they're, they're up against right, tails so we win on the, uh, far, on the side. far side. The this could be a really good race in this as we decide uh, uh, Thursday's champions. Tails we win, a reminder, runners up in the world so last year, current UK record holders as well. The first team from tails and Roadrunners beat beat the welcome visitors from Belgium. 
Yes, I was starting to, uh, to say earlier on about the box. The box, you will notice, uh, has got at least a couple of holes in it. Dogs do like to turn one way or the other. Basically, they're left-handed or right-handed, so they put the dog, they put the ball in the side the dog likes to turn to get a quicker turn. This is warm-up lineup. Box is ready. We're all set. The boxes Judges are ready. ready. Judges are ready. Andrew Very impressed it. with Monica Johnny's opening work, opening day's work here at Trust. Tells we win then. Are on the far side. Road runners beat beat running near two high quality combinations and very, very close in this opening leg. Just for tells we win on that far side. There's a fault on the near as well. It's still just with tells we win on the far side. A fault on the near means that, uh, and there's another fault on the near side. Road runners beat beat then. Um, probably relaxing a, a, a little bit after, after qualifying and it goes with tails we win on the far side understandable drop in performance quality from road runners beat beat Graham. still very surprising to see the folks that they'll want to try and put in as many clean runs as they can so that the dogs get used to the timing and everything else you see the dog turning to the right there dropping the ball that incurs a fault because it must carry the ball back down over the course Tails we win then. All from, a team drawn from all over the UK, from Portsmouth to Yorkshire. Even got somebody from Belgium in there. And there's all Belgians and roadrunners beat beat. And the champions, those multiple record breakers, have to strike back here if they want to be Thursday champions again. Always oh, huge bragging rights in that. On the near side then are Beat Beat. This looks better from Beat Beat. They're ahead at the moment on the near side. Still maintaining that advantage, Beat Beat. Tells me we're having to strike back. What's going to happen with the final dog on this near side? That's more like it. And that's one apiece. Excellent. The road runners saying, you think we're slacking off, you think we're feeling the pressure. Do not believe it. As you say, Normal service has been resumed, I think you could say, Jim. Very nice clean run there. That's more like it from uh, Roadrunners Beat Beat. Wow. 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 Turning to the right. It's turning before it picks the ball out. Amazing. They really work hard at it to Roadrunners Beat Beat. Came here as an unknown quantity last year. Came here as the first uh, overseas entrance to Crufts and swept Box the board ready. and broke Box all sorts of records. Now they Box have to win ready. this one as they hunt the title of Thursday's champion. Road runners in, one apiece on the near side. Tails we win on the far, doing so well in that opening leg. Let's see what happens here. It's with the road runners at the moment on the near. Still with the road runners. Little bit of a gap opening up between the blue and the red lanes. The road runners quick and clean. Are they going to complete it? Should I really bother asking the question? No, they have completed it. They've won two, won the road runners. Through they go. A gallant effort from Dales, we win. There's no sliding off the road here on the green carpet at Crofts. Road runners beat beat. Very, very popular. I think the story's got around about what happened to them coming to the NEC, Graham. Yeah, and you see the dog, as I say, the dog's actually turning before it takes the ball out. Only just got hold of it there, but he still manages to maintain it, drops it when it's over the line. That's not a problem at all, and now he'll get his reward. Okay, are we ready for some more? Can we handle some more? Please welcome back Watson's Legacy. You can cheer louder than that, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, these amazing teams are back. 
So Watson's legacy are in the pink and the green. And they're going to be going up against our new Cruft record setters. The team, by the way, who already hold the European Championships. Lots of fly ball action across the weekend here at Crufts 2023. Please welcome back Roadrunners Beep Beep. So Roadrunners, hardly any time between that victory and here they are competing for the right to be called Thursday's champions. They will be on the near side, the, the blue so. side. And on the far Watson's side, the red, legacy. Watson's legacy. Fast dogs, all related. Watson's this legacy, third time here. The well, they came here with very low expectations. They've done well. They're going to be back on Saturday. But now they are up against absolute class in the shape of road runners. Beat, beat. If there are records to be broken, road runners beat, beat from Belgium. They break them. Best of three. Winner of this one will carry the kudos of Thursday's champions into Saturday's quarter-final. This, the last action on Thursday from the round of 16. Roadrunners beat beat on the near side, the blue. Watson's legacy looking to upset, well, cause a major upset here. From Stoke on Trent, Watson's legacy have done a really exceptional day. Monica Johnny, our judge British-born, but now living in Canada. Very calm, very authoritative, keeping good order. Boxes are ready. Boxes are ready. We're all ready, Monica. Let them go, Monica, let them go. First of three, Roadrunners beat, beat, near side. Watson's legacy on the far. Lights are on and away we go. Good start by Watson's legacy on that far side. The opening dog just has it at the moment. But the Roadrunners are caught up with the second dog. It's with the Roadrunners from Belgium, the reigning champions on the near side. There is a fault on the near side, though, though. So Watson's legacy, if they keep it clean and quick, this will be their race. If they keep it clean and quick, this will be theirs. And it's looking that way. It is indeed. It is indeed. Watson's legacy. One, two. One up, two to go. Yeah, and there we go. We quite clearly saw the fault on the crossover. The dog incoming into the course uh, can't enter it until the dog leaving the course has left. I think that was right, Jim. I'm certain it was right, Graham. No thinking about it. On the money as ever. Can we turn the light off? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Watson's legacy. One to the good from Stoke on Trent against Road Runners Beat Beat from Belgium. Okay. Reigning yeah, champions. Boxes, ready? Watson's legacy would love it. They came here having fun. They came here with no great expectation. If they were declared Thursday champions, they would Boxes, celebrate ready? long and hard into the snowy night here at the NEC. Watson's legacy then. On that far side, Roadrunners on the near, and they're away. Good start again by Watson's legacy, but it, it's just with Watson's legacy at the moment. But Roadrunners have made it up on this second leg. It's with the Roadrunners on the third. It's with the champions, the record breakers on the near side. It's still with them. It's going to be close at the end, but yeah, they squared it up. They've squared it up to one apiece. Roadrunners beat beat. Nine, five, Winning the blue leg. 14.95 the time, that is pretty quick, 14.95, 14.71 the Crufts record. Yep, Roadrunners uh, just wound it up a little bit, but they still left. And notice the dog that faulted on the changeover before, they actually left that little bit more room just to make sure it didn't fault again. The road runners, they want to be these champions. What a day it will be Thursday. A grim start on the road. A really nasty accident. Coming back, all the dogs fitting well. A couple of aches and pains from some of the uh, handlers. But now, if they win this one, the road runners will be Thursday's champions. This the decisive one to decide the best of the day. Very close at the moment, probably just on that far side with the legacy, but catching up well. 
on the second leg. It's with Roadrunners at the moment, is it? It's very, very close. It's still with Roadrunners on the near. Legacy straining and straining and straining. But I think the Roadrunners have it. I think the road. Yes, they do. What a great race. Really, really good. Hey, well done, Watson's Legacy, by the way. They pushed them all the way in that. The team from Stoke on Trent was a great race and i tell you what that quarter final day on saturday really does promise to be something very very special we're going to possibly see these teams running again uh yeah and a great consolation i think they're winning today's final um is really going to help them absolutely right one big family well, the uh, flyball family by the way just to say a lot of the other teams helped out road runners beat beep on the back of that accident so one big family hugely competitive out there when things start and that is the uh, conclusion of the fly ball action for this thursday afternoon and there is plenty more to come but uh, it's quite astonishing the attraction here as the arena empties just about falls to its 7,000 capacity in off of fly ball and um, this okay, is Jim Rosenthal and Graham Marshall it. saying we Let's hope you enjoy it. There's plenty more to come and uh, we will see you soon. See you shortly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is presentation time. So as we welcome back our top two, our winners and our runners-up for our amazing flyball competition this afternoon, it is now time for the presentation. Please welcome back Paul Harding, member of the board of the Kennel Club, to do the presentation. Give Mr Harding a big round of applause, everybody. The winners of Crufts Flyball this afternoon and setting a new Crufts record of 14.59 seconds. Roadrunners beep beep. Incredible, what a performance this afternoon. We can't wait to see what they're going to be able to do in the quarterfinals on Saturday. All four teams, the top four from today, will be going through to the quarterfinals on Saturday. Congratulations. The semi and the finals, of course, taking place on Sunday. Congratulations, good job. Your dogs are on. Our runner-up this afternoon, they've been amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Watson's Legacy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well, I don't know about you, but that was absolutely electric, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Don't forget, you can re-watch all of the flyball action on the Crufts YouTube channel. But for now, give our two teams a massive cheer as they do their lap of honour. 